Hello everybody, it's Kids Filming Club. I'm Micah, and today we are going to be reviewing the Stickbot Megabots. These were recently just released, and there's currently only three available. Here we have the Knockout. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. As you can see, they are Megabots. There are currently three versions, as I already said. You can currently get the Avalanche, Knockout, and Turbo Cycle. Here's the back of the box. And here's the side of the box with all the Stickbot Central series. Cough only what the bot is only hearing. And let's go ahead and open this guy up. Here is the Knockout knocked out of the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Stickbot. Here is the Stickbot that is exclusive to the Knockout Megabot. As you can see, it's a red with sort of gray, sort of multicolored Stickbot. This sort of falls in line with the other multicolored stick bots that have been releasing throughout 2019. And I gotta say, this one looks pretty nice. It's a red stick bot. It's a slightly darker than a standard red stick bot, but it's not as dark as the cyan stick bot, or not the cyan stick bot, the beige, I forgot the color was, stick bot from the Action Pack Series 1. And the little metal sort of bit seems it's not exactly the same color as the metal stick bot, but rather it's sort of the same color as the Raptus stick bot from the off the grid action pack, which is kind of neat. It's kind of got a little weird issue with the face. I've noticed that recent stick bots, their face is a little off compared to some more original stick bots. Like, if I were to show you a few examples here. This is how I imagine most stick bots should look, but for some reason these Megabots printing on their faces are, they kind of look a little sad compared to a regular stick bot, I suppose. I don't know if that's just the Megabots, that could be an issue, I don't know. Printing with stick bot is a little weird. Here is a look at the Megabot itself, the Knockout. It uses a lime color scheme, which is kind of similar to the one used for the stick bot monster Gigantus. It also has this sort of dark metal and color gray, which is used for all the rest of the Megabots. And it's pretty huge. It's actually a lot larger than I expected. And also it comes with this little separate thing that you have to attach on separately, these little, I guess, fuel sort of thing. And this just goes on the back like so. There's no instructions for this, so here's how to do it in case you didn't know. Those sort of just attach like that. And these pieces can actually come off and I guess this is fuel, but I don't know, these just sort of go on the side. And yeah, that's how it looks. But how does it move? Surprisingly, there's not too much flexibility in this Knockout Megabot. I'll start with the legs here. The legs are kind of unique. They do use the giant suction cup, which is used for the like monsters and drag or uh, dinosaurs. Uh, those, I wasn't really a big fan of those, but they seem to work pretty well here. And even if they don't, they sort of have these little bits right here, which you could try to get your thing to help stay on the floor with. And the legs are pretty different compared to the dinos. Is The dinos usually had this little hinge for their legs and stuff. But here, this is still a hinge, but there's actually a string right here. So uh, they also give you the ability, there's a little like slot right here you can see. And you can take the string, make it go like this if you want. Same can also be done the other side so you can kind of have it in this position I don't know why you'd want it in that position but the options there if you want it it's a little difficult to put it back though with both legs so be careful and the arms are a little different uh, I thought they basically how it works is that this part right here is just one swirly thing but this little bit is sort of stuck like that so you can't really move this part up and down so you kind of have to just go like this and it's a little awkward to try to pose it for like punching and punching and stuff like obviously here's this but if you want to have it like wind up and punch you got to have the machine tilted its entire body around and then go like that so that might be a little difficult to animate the arms especially but you could just go like this and then next frame is like this that could work, I don't know. The arms are a little weird, uh, but they do have these giant fists and a little some joints right here. And then the back, as you see just now, these things kind of pop out. They're not very snug in there. I don't know what these are. I guess this is supposed to be fuel or maybe a jetpack or something. But one cool feature I discovered with this is that you can take them out like this. And for play functionality, 
you can punch them and knock over the crates. Like that. And for the stick bot, you, to put them in, you just go like this, tuck his little suction cups in, and there he goes. So he only goes in about this far. The legs, I mean the arms are sort of sticking out. You can try to put them in the mech, but it, it's a little difficult. Like so, that kind of works. So now it looks like he's kind of controlling it. So yeah, that's Knockout. Next, let's check out the Turbo Cycle. Thanks, dude! So here is the stick bot that comes with the Turbo Cycle. It's pretty much the same as the one from the Knockout, except this one is blue instead of red. He uses the same gray from the Off the Grid stick bot. And he's kind of similar, the, I'm pretty sure that these are the same as a regular blue stick bot. They just, maybe my eyes are tricking me, but I think this one is maybe just a teeny bit darker than the original blue stick bot, which is right here. So yeah, that is the blue stick bot that comes with the turbo cycle. Now here's a look at the turbo cycle itself. As you can see, it's got a nice red color scheme along with that gray. And this thing it look, just looks awesome. It's got one big wheel in the back which rotates and also two wheels in the front which also rotate. And it's also got two weapons on the side, two blasters or guns or whatever. And it also has some turbo engine boosters, whatever things, up on the top on both sides. So yeah, that's the turbo cycle. It also has hashtag stickbot on the side. Now the turbo cycle has a lot of different features and stuff you can do with it. For example, you can adjust little engines on the top or just remove them completely kind of similar to the little energy tanks or whatever on the knockout over there there's a little notch in the middle which you use to put stick bot in the turbo cycle so let's just grab our stick bot it goes straight in like this and there you go stick bot is in the turbo cycle his arms uh, once again just sort of dangle there's not really anything in front of the little bike as well there's no control pad or steering or anything control he can do, so I guess he just sort of drives blindly. I don't know how he drives this thing, but he does it somehow. Who cares? Uh, you can also remove the guns and just have this be a normal motorcycle sort of thing. So if you want just a normal one, non-weaponized, here you go. Looks like this. And another feature you can do is the wheels here at the front. They rotate, but they also have the ability to transform so basically you just sort of take this is once again connected by a string so this is how that's done you take it like this the string's a little delicate so I'd be careful if I were you and then you just sort of pose it take the string through this little gap and then your turbo cycle becomes a hover cycle or whatever you want it to be so it's a little difficult to get it in there but you get the idea here. So now your turbo cycle can fly. The back wheel can't do this, but only the front two wheels can. But now you've got a flying turbo cycle. Wee! These front two wheels probably are going to be a lot of trouble for you when animating because they're only attached using this one string. And I have been having struggles trying to adjust the wheels. Like they keep wanting to go forward. I can't seem to get it in between. And when I do get it in between, it sort of tries to drift back down into wheel mode so and even wheel mode it's a little difficult to get it rolling because it seems to behave like this I don't know what the deal is with this but the front wheels are a little troublesome that's all I'll say anyway next let's check out the avalanche here is the orange stick bot that is exclusive to the avalanche it uses the same uh, metal gray sort of piece plastic from before and this one is like also a slightly instead of darker orange It's more of a lighter orange than the original orange stick bot. I guess the camera Difference is pretty noticeable, but as you can see it's kind of like a lighter, a lighter orange than the regular orange stick bot Here's the avalanche itself. It's got a nice blue color scheme it also has some tracks with hashtag stickbot on the sides. It also has these massive arms which you can use to, I guess, punch stuff and to help itself self right. And they're pretty big and nice and poseable as well. Also it has these little 
engine sort of exhaust pipe things which go on the back. Again, there's no instructions for this, so this is how you do it, like so. And here it is, looking good. Now the Avalanche has a lot more posability and functionality compared to the other two Megabots. For one, the arms can go all around, they can swirl, you can pose them like this, and you can even swirl this joint if you want. So it has a lot more arm options compared to the Knockout at least. The tracks can, they have these little plastic wheels on them, so they can roll around like so. And the tracks can also be rotated themselves, so you can adjust them in different positions, so you could have it slightly at an angle if you wanted. Like that. The stick bot in the avalanche, you first take a suction cup, put it through this little hole, take the other leg and suction cup, put it through the hole, and now he's in the avalanche like this. And the avalanche, this blue body part which he goes into, can also be rotated from side to side. It doesn't work with the stick bot in it obviously, but uh, basically you can tilt it in full 360 degrees. It'll knock those things off, obviously, but yeah, I can go full 360 degrees. It's actually pretty interesting how that works. It's connected using a string, and you see the little gaps for this little sphere here, and that's what keeps it locked in, and it can just rotate in any direction, which is really neat. Now, there are some ways to sort of change its form. I guess this is just one of them that's at least shown on the box, but there are multiple different ways that you're supposed to be able to change it, like battle mode and stuff. But, of course, I don't know how to do that because there's no instructions. McDonald's Happy Meal can do better than this. Are you serious? So I made my own forms. This is the attack form. It uses the exhaust pipes as these sort of cannons on the side. Uh, of course, the suit bot is wide open for attack right in the front, but oh well. And I just sort of bent over the thing. It doesn't stand on its own, but this is what I came up with. Here's sort of this robot walker mode I made where it uses the suction cup arms as legs pretty much and it can just walk around and shoot stuff like this. Here's a tower mode I made where the stick bot is protected up top and he can use the arms to swing around and attack from below and the tracks to move around. Here is tank mode where he sits in the back, his legs are a little awkward but he can use the two cannons up front to attack. And finally, jetpack mode, where it uses the little exhaust on the side to fly. So those were all the Stickbot Megabots. Now onto my final score. All the vehicles have really unique designs that make them stand out, and the exclusive Stickbots really help to add value to the Megabots. So I'd say these are a must-have for Stickbot collectors. However, there's some limited posability on the Knockout, and the Turbo Cycle's two front wheels can be a little wonky. Also, there's no instructions. So, my final score for the Stickbot Megabots is a 9 out of 10, and my personal recommendation is definitely check them out. They're really cool. So anyways, guys, that was the Stickbot Megabot review. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments down below, and also which one is your favorite. But that is going to do it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.